everyone, welcome back to Playcrastination Population 3, what do we have, 45, and welcome to episode number one of our Pokemon Y, that actually worked out, the timing was impeccable, of our Pokemon Y Wanderlock. Now, I'm going to explain the rules of the Wanderlock in just a second, but um, first I need to clear some dirty laundry, air some dirty laundry, clear up an elephant in the room, one of the two idioms right there. As you can watch this screen, this, these videos that are being played are probably going to make Nintendo copyright this, so part of me is just tempted to click A. But I also enjoy the music. I'm going to click A just to make sure everything's kosher. Is it going to be silent? I'm not ready for you yet. I'm not ready yet. I'm not ready to go yet. I have things to talk about. There's a Pokeball. Freaking Alfred Sycamore. Please tell me I can stay right here. Does this go? Welcome to the world of Pokemon. Okay, I'm gonna. I, I got some things to explain to you guys in just a second. Can I s chill here? You chill right there, Augustine Sycamore. Okay, so I have some things to explain. Um, first things first. As you guys may know, I did run a poll on Twitter a couple days ago, um, asking you guys what my next Nuzlocke should be. I got the itch. I wanted to play a Nuzlocke again. I actually just freaking devastated. Where is it? Where is it? On my free time, I just devastated Pokemon Omega Ruby. And so I was really feeling in the itch to play Pokemon. And so I asked you guys what you wanted to see. Do you guys want to see just a standard Nuzlocke with no randomization, which I've never done? Um, do you guys want to see another Martelock like we just finished up? I asked for a Wonderlock or an Egglock. Um, and by far the unanimous winner was the Egglock, which I really, really, really wanted to do. I'm so sorry. Um, but as you guys can see, we are playing here Pokemon Y, which I really, oh god, uh, which I also really wanted to play. I just, like I said, I just played through Omega Ruby. I beat it in like a week, and uh, it really, I never played through 6th Gen. I've never played through Pokemon Y. So I decided that that was the game that I was going to play through. Um, now, unfortunately, I looked into doing an Egglock for this game. That was the initial plan. It was going to be a Pokemon Y Egglock. The, uh, what do you want to call it? Te the technical side of things, of actually hacking your 3DS, sorry Nintendo, hacking your 3DS and making it so that you can import Pokemon, so that you can gen Pokemon onto the game. Um, unfortunately, I guess my 2DS is past the point, like I have updated it too recently that Nintendo's blocked it. I, everything I looked said, sorry, you're screwed. If you want to do that, you're going to have to buy a custom one. And I was like, well, I already bought this custom one to record with I don't really feel like buying another custom DS to make the eggs on and then transfer to this one so then I was gonna go on to Pokemon Omega Ruby make a bunch of eggs transfer them to this game and just start from the beginning but then we would lose all this in so I scrapped the idea of an egg lock but I promise you uh in the near future one probably after this one I'm not gonna promise yeah probably you know let's promise it an egg lock will be coming next on a game where I can do it um so instead we are doing a Wonderlock, as you can see from the word right above my head. Uh, so what is a Wonderlock if you guys have never heard of it? It's actually pretty simple to explain, which is awesome because I don't, I mean, I love talking, but I don't really like talking. Um, so a Wonderlock has all of these standard Nuzlocke rules with a bit of a twist in terms of encounters, and I will explain that. So first things first, all three Nuzlocke rules, one of them's kind of switch. Here's the two main ones. The first is that if a member of your team dies during the course of the game, it is considered dead and can no longer be used. You must either box it or release it. For the purpose of this one, I think we'll just be boxing them, but uh, bottom line is if a Pokemon faints, it is considered dead and can never be used again. How do you get Pokemon? In the Nuzlocke, it restricts the amount of Pokemon you can get, so every time you come to a new route, you get one encounter. The first Pokemon that you encounter on that route is your encounter for the route. You must catch that Pokemon. If you do not catch it, if you make it faint, if you run out of Pokeballs, whatever the reason may be, uh, you don't get that encounter. You have forfeited an encounter for that route, and you don't get to catch another Pokemon. Um, the third rule was that you uh, have to nickname every Pokemon that you catch. Um... We could still do that technically, but the, we're going to nickname them something else. Um, I'll explain that once we actually get to it. Um, but the way that a Wonderlock is different and the way that, you know, the nicknames don't really matter is anytime we get an encounter in this game. So we go to Route 1, we go and there's a Pidgey, we catch that Pidgey. In a regular Nuzlocke, the Pidgey would be on your team and you would use that until it dies or until the end of the game. In a Wonderlock, the second you catch something, you go into Wonder Trading in your 3DS, you Wonder Trade that Pokemon off, and whatever Pokemon you receive back is the Pokemon that you roll with. 
Um, so that's exactly what we're gonna be doing. That's all I have to explain about a Wonderlock. Now there's a couple like little, if you're like explaining the rules, there'd be like asterisks next to them. Um, so in terms of encounters, if we ever happen to encounter um, a, a shiny Pokemon, over the course of our playthrough, fingers crossed, that would be so cool. Uh, we do not have to wonder trade that off. We can keep that because that's exciting for me. And we can even use it on the team if we want to. I, depending on what it is, I may or may not. Um, so that's the thing about um, then. Uh, then you have to, you know, in the regular Nuzlocke, you have like dupes or species clause, which are if you encounter the same Pokemon, um, can you catch it? Yes, in this point, in this game, it doesn't matter because you're going to wonder trade it off anyway. Now, there is dupes clause in terms of wonder trading. So like, let's say we have a Pidgey. We want to trade that off and we get back a Bidoof, lovely Pokemon. Later in the game, mm, we catch a Caterpie and we want to trade that Caterpie off and we get another Bidoof. That technically counts as, as dupes because we've already received a Bidoof before, which means we can send that back off, uh, which is good. That's a really nice rule because otherwise our whole team would be Pidgeys because most people, as you'll see, don't want to trade really good stuff. Um, another rule in terms of wonder trading is, so there's it's pretty difficult to control what you're going to get back. Um, but the way, like in terms of level I'm talking about, I could trade off a level three Pidgey and if someone is feeling nuts, they could send me a level 100 Raichu if they wanted to. Obviously that would make the game super easy for me. I could breeze through the entire game with the Raichu if he listened to me, which he probably wouldn't. Uh, but I could still have just pure power. Uh, and because I don't want to do that, I, and this is a rule that I've made for myself. Some people do this, but you don't have to. Um, I am instituting a, a 10 level cap hard level cap the pokemon that we get back in the trade cannot be any more than 10 levels higher than what we sent off so our starter for example will be level five when we send off our starter at level five the pokemon we get back must be level 15 or less um if it's level 15 or if it's level 16 or higher there are two things we can do uh we can either wonder trade it back off and try to get a pokemon that's level 15 or less or we can keep it but it has to go into the pc and we can only use it when a member of our team reaches the level that it is. So if we get back a level 40, what's a great Pokemon? We get a 40 level 40 Blaziken holding Blazikenite. And we're like, oh, I want that. We could keep it in our PC, but we'd have to wait until the point in the game where we reach level 40 with all of our Pokemon to bring it onto the team. So it'd be like, you know, it's better than a Pidgey, but I got to wait for it. So... Um, you can either get the instant gratification of getting a Pokemon on your team, or you can get that delayed satisfaction of having something awesome. Anyway, have I explained everything? If I didn't, of course, check the comments down below or the description. I will outline them better there, hopefully. I said I would do that with the, the Martelock, and I never did, so. Um, but I think I've explained everything. All you need to know, basically, this could have been summed up in two sentences. A Wonderlock is a Nuzlocke where you want to trade off your Pokemon, and you get new Pokemon. Perfect. Going into uh, the game here. Now I have to get into my uh, French accent. I am Augustine Sigamore, the Kalos region's very own Pokemon professor. Whoa. I'm not good at accents, by the way. Uh, if you guys are new here, by the way, welcome to Procrastination. It's my YouTube gaming channel where I play things and try to get some subscribers because <laughs> money. Only money. I'm kidding. I do this as a hobby. This is what... Can you shut your mouth, Skiddo? This world of ours is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. Mm, are they? Oh, that's enticing. These mysterious creatures can be found in every corner of the world. I love your painting. Some run across the plains, others fly through the skies, and yet others swim deep in the oceans. We live together with these Pokemon, lending our strength to one another to live and prosper. <coughs> Let's get started with some quick questions. Are you a boy or are you a girl? We're going to be going with a boy in this one because I'm a B.O.I. boy. And what do I look like? Well, you've given me so many selections. Yeah, Aryan race questionable ethnicity and generic white man. I am generic white man as far as it goes. Oh, I see. Would you like to tell me your name? Yes. Oh God. I was like, where is my uh, keyboard? So we're going to do the exact same name that we do in at least our last couple Nuzlocke's and what we'll probably do in every Nuzlocke from here on out, which is to go by what everybody calls me, which is Gilmore. <coughs> I feel really coughing right now. I'm sorry. Sweet boots, yo. So it's Gilmore then, did I get that right? Yes, you did, sir. This isn't French anymore. This is getting closer to what Rowan was in our diamond, or in platinum let's play. Gilmore, try being, what a fantastic name. I don't want to end up sounding like Pepe Le Pew is the problem. Gilmore, you're, go and meet many Pokemon and people and fill your life with richness. Now let's go visit the world of Pokemon, which I happen to have a portal to in my room. 
Ultra Beast confirmed. What the heck? Now, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna act super surprised by this like I just did on purpose. I've seen the intro to this about a million times because I wanted to test out the Wonderlock. Uh, and that's how I know that people do not trade off the greatest things um, in that. Go ahead and peck me awake if you would. Thank you so much for pecking me right in the appendix. Luckily I had it removed so I didn't feel anything. Um, now what I will say, boom, I'm gonna show you a speed run strat. Normally you have to go downstairs, talk to your mom. She'll tell you to go change your clothes. Click on the mirror, your clothes are already changed. Look at that, look at that speed run. And we get to see these lovely character designs with that lovely eraser hat. And but changed out of his pajamas. Now I'm not gonna lie, I'm very upset that I played, I'm upset that I skipped this generation. It was because it was cheap and didn't wanna buy a 3DS, but if I would've gone from fifth gen to these graphics, my mind would've been blown. And so I'm sad that I missed out on that, but I guess it was still blown with sun and moon because I jumped from fifth gen to sun and moon. And sun and moon are even better than this. Everybody in this looks like little, you ever played My Sims? It's a weird game that was on Wii. Everybody looks like little My Sims guys. Morning, Gilmore. You sure slept well. Are you all rested up from the move? It's about time you got going. Why don't you step out and say hello to the neighbors? I would love to. Uh, now, as you guys see, uh, this is a pretty boring layout. I apologize for that. Mostly because of time. Um, I am leaving for Tennessee for a work trip. Mm, what time is it? It's 5.50. 12 hours from now I'm leaving. So I didn't have a ton of time to, to throw everything together, but I really wanted to get this recorded for while I'm away. We got some neighbors here. Welcome to Vanneville Town. My name's Serena. I'm your neighbor. And I'm Shauna. Great to meet you. Guess what? We've come to get you. The esteemed Professor Sycamore lives here in the Kalos region. I, that's racist for me to assume that because she's blonde. But I was told he was at, well, has a request for five kids, including us. But I'm a little surprised he knows who you are. You did just move to Vanneville after all. We'll wait for you in the next town over. And you know what? We're going to get a Pokemon. Come on, hurry. Let's go. So we're gonna head over to the next town and talk to people while we're doing so. What? Oh, I thought my DS was dying. Uh, so yeah, it's a boring layout. Part of that is for time. Part of that also is because like a Pokemon team on this, we're gonna be changing Pokemon. Like the Pokemon are gonna be, can I please go in? The Pokemon are gonna be changing hands so quickly. Like every Pokemon we catch, we don't need to put on the layout. Then we'll wonder trade and then we'll get it back and then we can put on the layout. But then if it's the wrong level, we'll have to wonder trade it back. And then, and then it would like give away the surprise like so like, let's say we get like uh, a coughing in Wonder Trade and you don't see me put it on the layout, then you're gonna know, okay, well it's level 30 and then the spoil would be ruined. So to keep the sp spoilers, I would have to put it on there every time and I just felt lazy. So for this one, we're going with a bit more of a basic layout. I was honestly, science is amazing. I was even considering not doing a webcam, which would have been crazy. It's just like, I've been playing through on that Legend of Zelda playthrough, shameless plug if you haven't gone to see it yet we don't do a webcam on that one and my reading ability i don't care about dashing my reading ability is so much higher like you're gonna see me str struggle struggle with so many words doing this and i don't know if it's the added pressure of being on camera whereas the other one i can be doing whatever i want i can record naked if i want to i've never done that well i did it one time but we don't talk <laughs> that episode got scrapped um, let's go to the next town because I think I've explained everything. I've explained why the layout's weird. Well, not weird, but less exciting. What do you guys think of the logo? I made the logo myself. It was my first time ever trying to use the pen tool in Photoshop to make those little sucky things on the left and right side. And I'm pretty proud of it. It's the most work I've ever done on a layout. Usually I just take generic picture, like the one in the background that's just from the anime, put it in the background and put some squares on it. We were just talking about you. Come on, have a seat. All right, my group of friends here. This is the most friends we've ever had in any Pokemon game ever. This is the meeting place, Gilmar. Uh, here, let me like introduce you. Everyone, this is like Gilmar. Wow, Shauna's description was spot on. So Gilmore, this is like Tierno. He's got some serious dance moves and this is Trevor. He miss he never misses a single question on his test, but he's a little shy. Those two would never be friends in real life because I was Trevor, I know. All right, nice to meet you. You know, I feel like we, 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 there it is already. I didn't, I've never struggled over a single word in the, in the Legend of Zelda playthrough. These are four letter words and I can't get them out. You know, I feel like we'd be closer. I can't do it. It'd feel like we're a closer crew if we call each other by nicknames. Can I call you G Meister? What? No way. He's Lil G for sure. What do you think, Trevor? 
Oh, I, I, what? You want me to nickname someone I just met? Uh, Shauna, you shouldn't put people on the spot like this. Uh, how about uh, something low key, like uh, maybe something like Big G? Okay, low key. Why don't you decide what we should like call you? I'm gonna pick my own and I like this nickname because I said at the beginning of this, we are, I, it's not gonna fit, is it? We're gonna see if it fits. I want my name sweaty it's going to fit we're going to nickname our character please no 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 please 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 julie i'm hoping that they'll call us this throughout the entire game because i want to be sweaty boy for no reason whatsoever because we're a boy that's all that matters and i am in fact sweating right now because i got a light on me <laughs> you want us to call you sweaty boy <laughs> i can't read it I, i'm okay sweaty boy fix, fits you perfectly I'm sure we're gonna be great friends, so I'll call you that too. Hey, can we see the Pokemon now? I wanna meet my new partner soon. I know, right? It was such a cool feeling when Trevs and I met our Pokemon. Hope you feel the same way we did. Okay, so the guys get the Pokemon first and then the girls get it after, and me. I see how this operates. Boom, choose a Pokemon. Um, Obviously, it doesn't matter which we choose, except it kind of does. It doesn't matter which one we get because we're gonna wonder trade it off. But what does matter is whichever one we take, our rivals get the other two. And so I gave this some thought, and Fennekin is the smartest to take. Um, so by not taking Fennekin, they're eventually going to get a Chespin and a Froakie, Water and Grass type. What is so abundant, guys, in the trade, wonder trading, are bug types, because everybody wants to get rid of their Caterpies, poison types, and grass types. Mostly because there's a forest a little bit up ahead where you can catch, I think, all of those. Wait, grass types, maybe? I have no idea. There's a ton of them in Wonder Trade, and that means killing something like a Froki, and especially killing something like a Trespin, are gonna be much easier um, than trying to kill a fire type, which is gonna destroy our bug types. So we're gonna take the fire type Fennekin so that they don't get it. I'm kinda sad we don't get to, I mean, it's possible, maybe in the Wonder Trades we'll get a starter, because I, I, like I said, I've never played these games, so I'm sad I don't get to experience the starters. Would you like to give your Pokemon a nickname? Uh, sweaty Girl? So you're not gonna give your Pokemon a nickname. I think that's, that means she's saying that. Okay, my partner is Chespin. Wow, we go great together. The two of us are way too cute. Nice to meet you, like, Froki. I'm like, Serena, because of you, I can like be a real like Pokemon trainer. Thank you. Oh, uh, pardon me, but uh, I have some, Bonnie. I have something for uh, the for, for you for the professor as well. I have something that will help you understand Pokemon on a much deeper level. You'll more receive the Pokedex. I can only make fun of nerds because I was one and still am. That's okay. Um. Uh, so, uh, you see, uh, where's my glasses? Uh, where's my glasses? Theory, I don't have them. The Pokedex I just gave you is a high-tech device that automatically records the the, the, po what is that? the Pokemon you encounter. The reason you get one is because the professor wants us to go on a journey with our Pokemon and complete the Pokedex. To put it another way, it's an important mission from the professor, I'm sure of it. Oh, lighten up, Trevs. You're way too serious sometimes. Um, sweaty boy. Please take this with you, too. It's a letter from the professor. He said you should give it to your mom. What's he trying to... Hmm. Is that Calvin Klein cologne I smell? All right, we're done with our end for the professor. I guess Trevs and I will go look for Pokemon. Let's go, Trevs. Everybody's got nicknames. It, it's it's weird going from a game where you have 90,000 friends like this to most Pokemon games where you have a rival. Sometimes he's your friend, like in Diamond and Pearl. Most of the time, he hates you. In Kalos, kids are like uh, chosen uh, to carry a Pokedex and like go on an adventure, but you need to like give that letter to your mom before you go. I will do such a thing. Um, so the Nuzlocke hasn't started yet, obviously, uh, and the other thing is, we can't actually want- Oh, forget about this. A sweaty boy, wait! <laughs> if you know how many times I got catcalled like that, you're gonna be my opponent in my Pokemon battling debut! Okay, little Chespin, it's our first battle. Well, it's when it was style. Um, so we're gonna have to fight her and devastate her because she's very easy to beat. Of course, she will have- Chespin, the Pokemon that is weak to our Fennekin, while Serena will ha have the one that is stronger. Um, we can't actually trade off Fennekin yet. Uh, you have to have two Pokemon in this game in order to want to trade, so that's why I haven't done it yet. That's why I, I loaded up beforehand to check and make sure. And that is in, in, in fact the case. Uh, we're gonna have to get one more Pokemon, and once we have that second Pokemon, um, then 
we can uh, do the dirty, if you if you will. We can uh, wonder trade them off, and that's my goal by the end of this episode is to wonder trade off two Pokemon. Mmm. And get the first two members of the team. Fennekin grows to level six. Wonderful. You learned anything? Doesn't matter. <gasps> what? Hey, I wasn't done watching my cute little Chespin yet. Is that your nickname? Is Lil Chespin? Gilmore received five hundred dollars for winning. Rich. You're amazing, sweaty boy. Here, let me fix up your Pokemon. Thank you. Say hi to your mom for me. All right, go back to eating at your picnic table. The sweaty boy thing is gonna get us into some precarious situations eventually. Can we get an encounter on Route 1? I don't think we can, unless maybe we get Headbutt. And welcome to Vanderville Town, where we also cannot get an encounter unless you can... Nope, there's no place to get an encounter. Which kind of stinks. That's two non-encounters right off the bat. Let's talk to our mother and see what she's doing. What is that? Oh, it's a ta- Oh, my own bird woke me up? So, what did you and the neighbor kids end up doing? Wait one second, Gilmore. Is that a Pokeball you have there? You got your very own Pokemon? Lucky you. How about that? You're a Pokemon trainer now too. Congratulations. Huh? A letter for me? It says it's from somebody named Sycamore. What could it be? A love letter? Dot, dot, dot. Yes. Wow, what lovely handwriting. And since your father's not around anymore. Oh, hmm, what do we have here? A request. Oh, I see. Gilmore, we've barely unpacked and all kinds of exciting things are happening. Okay, let's get you and Fennekin ready for the journey. Where are you going? I, okay, I was like, I'm ready for the journey now. Here you are, Gilmore. I even packed you a change of clothes. Lickety, I wish you could do that for me. Let me show you guys. Hold on. I leave, like I said, in 12 hours. I want to show you guys how much I've packed. It's, it's empty. It's, it's completely empty. So that's gonna be good. Uh, we'll figure that out. And I still have to record uh, two episodes of this and three episodes of Wind Waker for when I'm gone. <laughs> I'm gonna go in my underwear. My, what an unexpected turns of events. It's like a sudden last burst of speed racer in or Nighthorn race. You made friends, you met your Pokemon, and now you get to take a lap around Kalos. Oh, and don't forget this, a town map. Thank you, thank you for that. Appreciate that. It's a little light in here. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off. All right, a little darker now. Get over the town map in the. Eh, I want it back, so let's go ahead and turn it back on now. You know how to use the town map, right? Born knowing. That's my boy. That's my sweaty boy. Select the town map for you from your bag whenever you want to use it. I don't know what this Professor Sycamore wants you to see on your trip, but taking a journey with your Pokemon is a really wonderful experience. Thanks, mother. I'm gone. I got two Pokemon to go get. And, uh, oop, Rhyhorn wants to say goodbye before we go. At first I thought he was gonna destroy me. He does not. Roar. Mm, water down my throat. Ha <laughs> what a card. I guess Rhyhorn just wanted to give you a big send-off for your journey. Well, it has known you since you were born, after all. It's actually my father. That's a Pokemon theory for you. Good luck, Gilmore. And go for broke. And don't worry, you'll have your Pokemon by your side, so you'll be fine. Right, I'm gonna need you to get out of the way. Let's get back on your beach towel. There you go. He sits there for the entire game. What a boring Pokemon. No offense. Oh God. The joystick definitely like throws me off. Like it's not as well in this game. They, this was the first game where you could walk. Mm, yes. This is the first game where you could walk diagonally, but they still don't have like the 360 degree walking unless you're on your something, which I'm not going to tell you because it's kind of a spoiler. Hello. Do you love Pokemon? I do. Aren't they great? Yes. Now, I don't really want to, well, part of me wants to read all the flavor text because I've never played the game before, so I don't know who could give me items. I don't know who's going to tell me to go shove off. Those are all possibilities, and I want to meet all of them. So here's how we're going to cheat, guys. Here, this potion's for you. Feel free to use it. Go obtain the potion. Cool. Potions can heal whenever. I love you for that. Oh, my God. Changing camera angles. If I want to get more fancy, go to Santa Loon City. There's a camera right there. Well, we got Rotom Dex. We're gonna take some pictures. You found somebody home to help you pack. Yes, 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 sir. I got a nice mammy. Get the nice mammy. What's back here? Literally nothing. Okay. So here is uh, where the first decision I'm gonna make uh, may be unpopular, but I don't care really. So, hey, Pokemon trainer, if you set foot in the tall grass, a wild Pokemon will pop. But you're fine because your Pokemon partner will battle for you. Yes, he will. My eyeball. Okay, so as we get to the next route here, you guys may notice we don't have Pokeballs yet. Route two. So 
There is a scripted encounter in this grass. No matter where you come from, if you take two steps in this grass, you will get an encounter. And so I've, I watched a bunch of other people's Let's Plays of this game, their Nuzlocke's of it, to try to see what they consider. Oh, but you're like, oh, we don't have a Pokeball, so blah, blah, blah. Yes, you could buy Pokeballs here. So I'm about to buy Pokeballs and start the Nuzlocke. As soon as I buy these, Nuzlocke has started, guys. We're gonna buy 10 of them. And I think we'll probably also go to the shop across the street and buy some potions as well. Uh, so it's kind of a 50-50 split. Some people say, hey, because it's scripted, this is technically a static encounter, like the pseudo wudo on whatever route in Pokemon uh, Gold, Silver, Crystal. It's technically scripted because you have to face it. Um, and so if you, I, I forgot to buy them. If you take that perspective, perspective, then technically it counts as is a static encounter and we can capture it and it doesn't count as our route to encounter. Now other people would say, well, you're technically not even supposed to have Pokeballs by that point because you haven't done the catching tutorial yet. I don't really care. I kind of like the idea of getting as many encounters as possible because it means more wonder trades with you guys. I forgot to nickname the Fennekin. We will nickname this Pokemon. Um, so let's go ahead and get our two steps. Pidgey encounter, guaranteed. We'll catch this and uh, you don't have to do this, but what's like recommended that you do is um, you're supposed to, also this is a guaranteed capture by the way, so as long as you just throw a ball at it, it will get captured no matter what. Um, so you don't have to risk like weakening it or anything like that. Um, you're supposed to like name your Pokemon in some way that people know that you're a wonder trader, that you're going through a wonder lock right now. And so we will probably uh, do that. I don't know how we're gonna, WL Gilmore maybe, something like that. I don't really know. Uh, but yes, we're gonna go ahead and give this Pidgey a nickname after we read all about him. Hello, Pidgey. The tiny bird Pokemon. It is docile and prefers to avoid conflict. If disturbed, however, it can ferociously strike back. Yes, we will give a nickname to the caught Pidgey. That nickname will be probably just like W Wonder Trade Space Space Gilmore. So every time we catch a Pokemon, no matter what it is, it oh, it's gonna have this exact same name. Um, I wish I could put WT Play Procrastination because then you get a little bit of shameless channel plug out there, which is great. Uh, but unfortunately, it's too long and that sucks. So, we now officially have two Pokemon on the team, which means it is time to Wonder Trade, which means it is time for me to connect to the internet. Um, and go ahead and Wonder Trade these guys off. We have two of them, so we're gonna get two Wonder Trade encounters right here and then at the beginning of the next episode we're gonna get two more wonder trade encounters pretty quickly um the data necessary for internet connection has been gained cool awesome thank you i would like to connect to the internet go into the wonder trade and we're gonna get our first two wonder trades right here now remember guys fennekin is level six so we have to get a pokemon level 16 or less oh also so uh i didn't explain this about dupes earlier so we caught a pidgey if we wonder trade off fennekin and get a pidgey back doesn't matter. Does not count as dupes. Because we haven't received a Pidgey before, it doesn't count as dupes. So even if we trade off our Pidgey and get a Pidgey back, we are stuck with the second Pidgey that we got back. But let's go ahead and wonder trade off this Fennekin and see who we're gonna trade with, where they're from, and what we're gonna get back. I'm pumped. This is so much more exciting actually doing it while recording it than just doing it from the comfort of your own home. Come on, give me someone. Also, we may not find anybody because not a lot of people play this game anymore, but usually I find a trade partner after a while. Uh, we got Know You Once Little Me from Germany, Lower Saxony. Your name creeps me out, but I don't care. You're gonna give us our first encounter in the entire game. We're sending off Fennekin and who are we getting back? Who are we getting back? Who are we getting back? Come on, come on, come on, come on. <gasps> it's gonna be too high level. And I also got really excited, but it's just a mighty Anna. It's probably gonna be too high level, so we're probably gonna have to wonder trade this guy back off, um, but we'll we'll look and see. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. For now, our first encounter may be a Mightyena from Little Me. From Little Me to Sweaty Boy is a great trade. Okay, so we go back in. We're gonna try wonder trading again. We're gonna see what level this Mightyena is. Poochina can't even evolve till 18, right? So the lowest it could be is 18, which is still too high. It is 35, which means. We're gonna go and send him back off as well. Now in these early episodes, if we ever have a situation like this, 
Um, I'll probably just leave the, the next wonder trading in um, just for a little bit extra flavor. But in, in the future, if we end off, you know, uh, who do we got? Uh, we got Alberto from Mexico. Let's see what we're going to get from Alberto in Mexico. Trading off the Mighty Anna, which is really just for the Fennekin. Remember, level 16 still applies. Level 16 cap and the Pokemon we're going to get back. Ooh, it's going to be too high, isn't it? We're getting, we're getting things that are actually exciting, which makes me mad that they're going to be too... Look at those eyes. Which makes me... Loli. Which makes me really sad that we're probably going to have to get rid of it. Let's check. Let's check. I'm not going to... Again... I'm not going to get down before I have to, but the fact that it's not the baby form makes me think it's probably going to be too high a level. I've never used a Gothitelle before, which would have been really fun to use, so I'm, you know, maybe we'll keep it. It's 50. I'm not waiting that long for one of these, so trade it off. <laughs> Again, in the future, I'll probably cut all these out, but for now, it's just exciting to see these Pokemon and uh, see what we could potentially be getting, but are in fact not getting. Now, you should guys expect we're going to get a ton of Caterpies, a ton of Weedles, a ton of Pikachus, a ton of Bunnelbees, a ton of Fletchlings, a ton, all of those things. We will see all of those. We get Ash from Pennsylvania. Actually, he's from Pallet Town. But th in this case, we're getting Ash from Pennsylvania. He just sounds like the kind of guy that's like, I'm going to name myself Ash. Here comes a Bunnelbee. So we're going to see who we're going to get for our starter. Please, please, please. It's a Volbeat. It's a bug type. I told you we're going to be loaded with bug types, guys. And that's probably going to be in the level, um, what is, uh, what do you want to call it? That's probably going to be in the acceptable level, uh, whatever. So this is probably going to be our first Pokemon. I'll take a look and we'll see. I will take a look and we will see. Hold on. Hold on here. We got 14, so it does fall within the realm. It's actually kind of nice because 14 is going to make, uh, grinding through the beginning of this pretty simple. Um, now I said I was going to want to trade off both of these, but because we had to want to trade like three times, it ended up taking a lot longer and we're now over 30 minutes. So I am going to cut this one here, but that does mean that next time we're going to start off with a wonder trade, uh, learn how to catch Pokemon, catch two more Pokemon here and in the forest and wonder trade off two more. So three wonder trades right off the bat next time. We'll have a pretty decent team or at least a decent look at what our team is going to look like. Uh, right off the bat. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are excited about this one, like, please show some support down below it, uh, helps apparently youtube told me and so the more you guys do that the the more better i feel about making these things and obviously if you guys know anybody that you think would be a great play crastinator go and send them send them on by because we would love to have them but with that thank you guys so much for watching this first episode i'm excited it's a volby and i'll see you guys next time for some more wonder login shenanigans.